What's up, guys? Welcome to Hiking Homestead, and thanks for tuning in. Uh, today, the topic is rabbits and why you should get rabbits for the homestead, and I highly recommend it. Um, rabbits are awesome, and you don't have to have a lot of land or a big homestead to get them. So let's talk about seven reasons why we should get rabbits for homestead, and I can unpack each seven. And again, I'll make more videos about rabbits down the road. Uh, but number one is rabbit poop. Yeah, really, that's my number one reason. And the reason why is because... Unlike on practically any other animal in the homestead, their manure is a hot manure, meaning if you put it directly on your plants or your garden, it will kill them. They have to be composted for six months. Rabbit manure can go directly on your garden or your plants. So in my opinion, that's just the ease not having to compost it, the fact that you can put it directly in your plants, the fact that it's like a delayed release little capsule of nutrition for your plants um, just is a big perk for me. Um, so rabbits, one number one reason is for their manure. Um, it is a great fertilizer. Um, second reason, number two, is for meat. Okay, and there's several reasons for this. One is two days in one buck can get you up to 185 pounds of meat a year. That's a lot of meat for just three rabbits, two days in one buck. It's crazy when you think about it. And um, they can be, uh, you don't want to breed litter mates, but you can still breed dad to daughters and you can breed different, you know, bunnies from different litters together so you can easily replace your older rabbits um, if you need to with that self-sustained herd of rabbits um, or herd whatever you'd call rabbits group of rabbits I don't know uh, but anyway so that's one thing is just how much meat they can supply with so few rabbits I mean they multiply like rabbits that's where the saying comes from the other thing is you have a steady meat supply you might be a person that's into prepping and if that's you and power goes out the grid goes down um, yeah, you might have a generator for your chest freezer or something like that, but eventually you got to be able to self-sustain. And if you have animals like cows, cows a ton of meat, you're going to have to freeze that, and it's going to take you a long time to eat that meat. So the thing with rabbits is you can basically butcher them the day you're ready to eat them, and that's why homesteaders have kept rabbits for a long time. Um, you can go off-grid with them. Um, you can just butcher the meat the day you want to eat it and have a steady, steady meat supply. Um, without having to have refrigeration, right? Because you, know, you want to eat rabbit that evening, you butcher sure you eat it, and then the rest of them stay alive. So you don't have to worry about that. Also, you don't have to spend, because you can kind of slowly butcher the rabbits, when I buy meat birds or meat chickens, I'll buy like 50 at a time, and then i got to butcher 50 at a time. And it's a long day of butchering. So rabbits, you can do just a few at a time as you need them. Um, you tend to want to butcher them within a, uh, a range of two to three months because that's when the meat's the most tender up to maybe six months. So you don't want to just butcher them, you know, several years old, they're going to be a little tough. Um, but still, it gives you a lot of flexibility as to when you butcher those rabbits and, and you can kind of be flexible with your meat supply with them. The third thing is just the ease of raising them and the ease of butchering them. They are very easy to house. They need about a 30 by 30 um, cage to be housed. In. So it's not like 30, 30 by 30 inches per, per rabbit. Um, some people will go 24 by 24 or two by two foot. That's a little small for me. But anyways, you can, they don't really need a ton of space. Um, and the other thing is to butcher, like chickens, you have to scald them. If you're doing a lot of chickens, it would benefit you to have an actual scalder. Um, which, those are super expensive. A commercial plucker, those are super expensive. You can hand pluck them, but it does take a long time. And you can scald them with just a stock pot. That's what I, that's what I do, but it does, you know, it does take a long time. It's tedious and it's smelly and dirty. And it kind of turns you off to eat the chickens after you have scalded them and plucked them and all that. So anyways, rabbits are way easier. A few slits here and there. You don't have to buy a lot of butchering equipment. You really just need a sharp knife and a clean table. And if people can butcher rabbits in less than two minutes and have them ready to go. So they are just easy to butcher and easy to house. They're just easy all around. Um, they also aren't loud. So if you don't want to hear a rooster or chickens clucking all the time and um, and rabbits, you don't free range them. You keep them in enclosed pens. So you don't have to have them running around your yard or your property or getting in neighbor's yards or whatever. They're perfect if you are in an urban setting and you want a steady meat supply or steady compost for your garden. So it's way easier than chickens. Everybody thinks chickens has got to be the first homestead animal, but I think rabbits are easier and really should be a lot of people's first homestead animal. Okay. Um, so number four is they have a mild flavor. They're a lot like chicken. And some of you are like, well, I've had you know, wild rabbit, it's really tough and gamey, but meat rabbits that are fed meat and butchered early at the right time are going to be a lot more tender and more of a mild flavor, kind of like a white meat chicken, okay? Um, so they're very tasty. Um, you may have think, oh, I could eat a rabbit, but, you know, 
you get used to the really slick chickens. Uh, number fifth reason is the great feed to meat ratio. In other words, they're not going to hurt your wallet to raise them up to butchering size. Chickens, especially meat chickens, will go through so much feed, especially if you're trying to do organic feed. That's like 30 bucks a bag. It adds up and um, they will go through a ton of it. So the meat rabbits will steadily eat meat or excuse me, steadily eat grain and feed. And you'll have a huge bill a certain month. Like you can kind of plan, you know, your your rabbit feed rate will be about the same every month. You know, um, if you kind of plan out your litters and uh, won't break it, won't break the bank. And again, you just get a better feed and cost to actual meat ratio with the rabbits to the chickens. Um, Fifth thing is, excuse me, sixth thing is they sell well. Okay, so this is this might interest a lot of you. Um, for me, I either use them for poop and selling or poop and meat, and it all depends about the market. Okay, so you may think I don't ever want to eat rabbits. Well, guess what? A lot of times they sell really well, even when the market is lower for them. They'll sell ten, fifteen dollars a piece, which is profitable. But right now we're in the coronavirus pandemic and everybody wants meat rabbits and they'll sell for 30 or more dollars a piece for meat rabbits because everybody's just trying to get their hands on them. So you look at if you have a litter every month you're selling eight to 12 rabbits, let's cut it in the middle and say 10, 30 bucks a piece. That's $300 a month that you're adding to your homestead. So that's a lot of money just off raising rabbits. They're easy to raise. Okay. Um, so again, um, way I look at it, if they're going to sell for 30 bucks, I'll sell them for 30 bucks and buy crab legs or lobster tails or flaming yawns and eat that. Um, but if they're not selling for as much, then I'll, then I'll let you eat them. So that's just kind of how I look at it. Number seven is that they have a quick turnaround time. Um, you, when you breed a rabbit, it takes about 30 days, give or take 31, 32 days, what, what, what have you, um, before the, breath, the babies are born. So it's a 30 day gestation period, very fast. Okay. Kind of like chickens, chickens are like 21 day hatch rate. Okay. Um, and then it takes about six weeks to raise them up to be weaned so you can sell them or eight to 10 weeks to raise them up for meat. So either way, the turnaround on them is about the same as the Cornish cross meat chicken. I mean, they are extremely fast and efficient at breeding um, and making your meat and, and weaning and making a profit. And if you're looking at profit, you're looking at, you know, two and a half months from the time you breed them to the time you can sell them and make a profit off of them. So that's really fast. Um, and again, they have about eight, 12 litter. So there's a lot more we can cover in other videos about rabbits, but that's my seven reasons by rabbit. Again, one is the compost of the manure is great. Two, meat supply. Three, they're easy to butcher in house. Four, they have a mild flavor and taste like chicken. Five, they have an excellent feed to meat ratio. Six, a lot of people want to buy them right now, okay? So you can make profit off of them, just that alone. And then seven, they have a super quick turnaround for meat or for selling, okay? So anyways, thanks for watching the video, guys. Like, subscribe, follow our channel, follow our adventures, hit the notification bell, and we'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Hi, Ken Homestead.